Hey, everyone, what's going on? I'm going to clear up some confusion real quick surrounding next Friday. Um, so the H8 report that's been talked about, uh, that's just a weekly report. And the FRY15, that's actually a quarterly report. So people are talking about two different reports that are done in two different time intervals as if they're the same thing. They're not. Um, so why the H8 is actually going to be reported next Friday um, it's a, it's a once a week thing. I'm just going to go over this very briefly real quick. The FRY15, it's a systematic risk report and it's done once a quarter. And the dates for this, the submission dates are March 31st, June 30th, September 30th, and, and December 31st, making the next date of submission September 30th, not June or July 30th. So the quarter just started. Remember that it's July, July, August, September, end of September, Start of the new quarter in October, ergo the next reporting period. And the form here that's listed on their website, the current form is actually dated as of uh, June 2020. So again, nothing to get just jacked about. Um, however, the date of this form is correct for next week. However, it's just nothing special. It just provides an estimated weekly aggregate balance sheet for all commercial banks. Uh, also includes separate balance sheets for you know several bank groups like domestically chartered banks, large domestically chartered commercial banks, small domestically chartered commercial banks. So this is just a weekly thing, um, no big deal. So the next time we'll see FRY15 September 30th, which goes hand in hand with the CFR changes, which is the big um, ASF, RSF, NSFR uh, net stable funding ratio changes that we just saw come out a couple weeks ago over the Fourth of July weekend. So anyways, um, yeah, I wouldn't expect anything really this Friday as far as anything from the bank reporting area. But um, yeah, I just want to clear that up. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.